So here is a problem regarding single standard addition. A third spectrophotometric method for the quantitative analysis of PP2 plus in blood yields a S sample of 0 0.193 when a one millimeter sample of blood is diluted to five millimeters. So we're gonna write it down as sample is 0 0.193 actually I'm gonna write it down here apologize when the sample is diluted so V0 is 1.00 millimeter and the V final will be 5 millimeters a sample sample of blood is spiked with a 1 microliter of external standard and diluted to 5 millimeters, yielding a spike signal of 0 0.419. So signal of spike is 0 0.419. When so V0 in this case will be 1. Millimeter and the V final is also five millimeter, but we have an addition of spike VSTD is 1.0 microliter, and the concentration of the standard is one. 560 PPB. So how do we tackle this problem? Well, we can use this equation as sample over S spike is equal to CA V0 over CA VO plus CSTD times VSTD. But we, before we plug it in, the values, we need to know that the V standard is significantly smaller than the sample volume. The standard we have is one microliter, and this is a thousand times smaller than one millimeter. So why is this important? This makes us to assume that the Ka is the same in two samples. Without this assumption, we cannot use this equation. So this is super, super important. The Ka is the same in two samples. So go ahead and plug it in the values. So S sample will be 0 0.193. The S spike is 0 0.419. The CA uh, in this example is um, Oh, that is the goal. We need to find the CA in the original sample. So CA times VO will be one millimeters divided by CA times one millimeter plus CSTD is one five six zero PPB multiplied by VSTD. It will be one times 10 to the minus 3 milliliters uh, because 1 micro, microliter is the same as 1 10 to the minus 3 of millimeters. So I'll move up here and we have uh, so 0 0.193 
over 0 0.419 is equal to CA divided by CA plus 1.56 yep PPB then we're gonna multiply uh, both hand side like cross multiply like this then we have 0 0.193 CA plus 1.56 is equal to 0 0.419 CA. Then open the bracket. CA plus. Oh, just gonna grab my calculator. Um, so there will be 0 0.30108 is equal to 0 0.419 CA. Then we can move this CA onto the right hand side. Then it gives me 0 0.30108 is equal to 0 0.226 CA. Then the CA is 1.5 PPB. So uh, I'll say it one more time. The most important thing is that the volume of standard edit is very small and the Ka is the same in two samples and the rest is just plugging in the equation. So hope you learned something in this video and thanks for watching.